New tonight, the heartfelt plea of a fourth grader being heard around the world as a treasured piece of baseball gear goes missing. Our Bill Logan explains why this is so much more than just sports. Nine-year-old Julius Fow is holding out hope that the flyer he's holding here does some good. He needs some help finding a very special piece of baseball equipment. This glove was really special to me. My grandfather, who had a stroke, he gave it to me. Now, all he has are the pictures of his grandfather and his glove, specially embroidered with the flag of the Philippines and his nickname, Pac-Man, because someone or ones decided to help themselves to what wasn't theirs along Knollwood Street late Saturday. When the bad guys tried to get into another car here in this neighborhood, then came and found this car unlocked, popped the trunk, and took the bag. I must have not locked it the way I should have. And the next morning, we woke up to go to his tournament, and I saw that the doors were open, the, the trunk was open, and it was gone. So you had your stuff in the trunk. It wasn't touched, just his. Correct. It's almost cruel. You would have rather had your stuff stolen. Exactly, exactly. It broke his heart. The bats and all the other stuff, it could be, we could replace it. The glove, it, it's that special. It couldn't be replaced. Right a budding star on the diamond who's been in organized ball for two-thirds of his young life, Julius has learned the value of good sportsmanship and simply wishes whoever did this can call on their sense of fair play and do the right thing. Turn yourself around. I only want the glove, nothing else. We can replace everything else. I just want the glove back. In Tampa, Bill Logan, ABC Action News.